There are 648,114 abandoned houses and commercial properties within the UK. They have been neglected by us and left derelict, which divides communities and leaves architecture bereft of use, a monument to the wasted carbon emissions that created them. We live in a world that preferences the human over everything else within it, including the built environment. This is the principal nature of subject-oriented ontology, SOO, and the, everything else is deemed as objects which only humans can understand. This comes from the anthropocentrism that Immanuel Kant postulated when he indicated objects are a product of human cognition and therefore only understood by them. However, more recently there has been a repudiation of this through the lens of object-oriented ontology, triple O. This states that all objects are made up of the same constituent parts and therefore have the same understanding of reality as any other object, with the objects now also including humans. This equality is based on the roots of Socrates and Plato who deemed that the only known known is that we cannot know. Triple O believes that objects have relationships with one another that are known and unknown. For instance, a stone is known to be grey, hard and semi-porous, but whether it is conscious or not is a subjective parameter that can only be known by the stone. The way we view architecture currently through our subjected, oriented ontological lens is as an unconscious being, an object to be used rather than cared for. Consequently, buildings are abandoned without thought. Therefore, this thesis would aim to develop a master plan to rejuvenate the area of Vauxhall in Liverpool with buildings that can facilitate architecture that is conscious, sentient and mobile, summated by the term living. To provide a basis for design, the architecture would have a purpose within itself to protect its inhabitants from further pandemics and allow life for those people to remain somewhat normal within times of lockdowns and quarantines. To be able to facilitate this, it would be important to research all the various strands of kinetic and biomimicry architecture from the Strambies to the work of Neri Oxman. While Triple O is a new world view, architects such as Tom Wiscom and Mark Foster Gage provide a guidance as to how this has been implemented so far. This thesis would therefore look to analyse how a new relationship between humans, a sentient or not architecture, and themselves, respectively, could develop. Consequently, looking at the many strands possible from the potential or not of a living architecture.